So mediums like myself became accredited so that we could help the general public because what we can't do, obviously, is in trying to provide proof of an afterlife, like, is prove it scientifically. But what we can do is try to provide evidence for in the type of format that you might see in a court of law. When we're talking about evidence, we're talking about on the balance of probability and beyond reasonable doubt. The scientists that I've worked with have been looking at it as in how helpful is it as a therapy, how well does it get people through grief. Parapsychologists and psychologists look at it to see, just to study the phenomena, because it's not just mediums saying that they speak to people that are dead. So many of us have experience of after-death communication. It can be studied and the evidence can be built and you can get your proof. Mediums try, in evidence-based mediumship, to describe a communicator that you will know. That could be still argued that the medium picked it up telepathically because you know your loved ones. So it's not enough for them just to describe a deceased person. Evidence-based mediumship is then about providing some evidence that that person is still around. Then it's bringing through information that you don't know that, would, that you'd need to research because then it can't be argued, I read your, your mind. Quite often with mediumship, you'll hear people say, no, I don't understand that. That's good. Because we don't want them to understand everything. We want them to go away, research it and find out. Because then how can that person, the medium, have known it? Plus, it's all about providing information that is proving that that person's still around. So I can tell a person, an example of this would be, I did a reading for a lady who unbeknownst to me, was sitting with the ashes of her partner in her pocket. And I was told the ashes were in a plastic bag on her. That kind of information tells you that person's still around because they've seen what you did that day. Things like that, that's the evidence. Really great mediums will describe a communicator and that will include things like conditions of passing, personality, Names is not the most important thing. Everyone wants names, but names can be researched. So I focus in on personality, on the little things that no one would know. Quite often the spirit world will tell me people's thought processes, what's going on in their head. Just things that are tiny things that for the person it's evidential. If they get names, great, but to me that isn't great evidence. But it's what we all look for, right? The names, the numbers, the surnames, the addresses, the telephone numbers. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> but there are other ways of proving the afterlife that I think are a little bit more poignant. They will describe the personality, the, the deceased person, they will give the evidence to show they're still around, and then the medium will give the message. Why is that person here? Because this isn't just about somebody this side of life coming to get some healing. It's about some of them on that side of life being able to heal.